Hey everyone, this is Dave Pike, Motor City Mechanic. Today's video is going to be removing the chrome bezel and the mesh on the front bumper cover of this Jeep Grand Cherokee. I've had a few people ask about it, so check it out. Alright, so I've had a couple of viewers that have watched that front bumper removal video on the Jeep Grand Cherokee, and they've been asking about these chrome rings, how to get them off. So I've got a bumper cover that's currently off. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to get to the rings. Now, the way it works, this mesh portion back here, this one's actually chrome, some of them are painted. That piece has to come off first, and it comes in three different sections. Once you get that off, then you can get each one of the individual rings off for whatever reason. If you're replacing the mesh, I'll show you how to do that. If you're gonna be doing something with the chrome rings, maybe you're painting them or replacing them with something else, I'll show you how to do that as well. Check it out. Right now, we're looking at the back side of the grill. Like I said, the mesh portion comes in three different sections. You get a, a two opening, a three opening, and a two opening, and that's how they come off. Now they kind of snap in inside the plastic frame here, so we're actually going to have to pry each corner loose and start working it. And of course, in the middle sections, you've got to pry as well. So we're going to grab one of these side pieces first, show you how to get it off, and then we'll work on the bezel. So now we got we got catches, little latches or fingers here, here, here. You go all the way around the perimeter and you'll see them. These are what we've got to release to get this off. Now, I've got my hand on the front side so I can kind of push as I do it so it doesn't want to reseat. And what I've seen to find it works best, is I get a small pocket screwdriver or a small flat tip screwdriver. I get in here between the latch portion and that and I kind of do a twisting motion. I kind of go at an angle and I kind of prise it, kind of work my way down. Then once I get the side, I'll work on the center. Now the center is kind of staggered. One way it latches one way, it latches another way a different direction. Just kind of kind of look at it and figure out which way it goes. Take your time. We get that side. And I still got to get this side over here. It's about to come off. There we go. Now we've got the chrome bezel, the mesh area, excuse me. We've got that off. Now we got access to the back of the chrome bezel. It's got little catches all the way around the perimeter. <laughs> that we've got to release to get it off the painted portion of the bumper cover. Because you've got multiple frames here. You've got a painted portion, you've got a black plastic portion as well, and then we've got the chrome accent trims. So on the bezel, what we got to do, we got to kind of get in between the painted area and the chrome, and we need to pry it apart. So what we need to do, we need to get up in here, get something that we can pry the painted portion away with. You can see as you pry it, you clear the area. And what we're going to do, we're basically going to do that all the way around the perimeter. We'll do it here, and we'll work our way around. Now, like I said, I like to keep my finger right here. I like to give it a little pressure so that if I do get it released, it doesn't want to reseat. And as I get these two released, I'll work my way around the rest of the perimeter to get it off. Now, it's going to take some time. You just got to get your, an edge started. Once you get it started, that's half the battle. And you just got to walk it around and say don't just fall off that's for certain there we go we're getting it you actually hear it unsnapping and there we go we got the chrome ring off so for whatever reason you want to take this off if you're painting it like I said or replacing it with something uh, and kind of aftermarket grill now you know what you got to do and when you go to reinstall it you just got to kind of line everything back up pull it back You'll probably hear it start snapping into place as you're doing it. Just take care not to scratch anything. And try not to manhandle it no more than you need to. That way you don't break anything. There we go. Let's get it fully seated. There we go. Chrome bezel is back in place. Now we can get our mesh piece. Make sure we got it shaped just right. Find the holes. Make sure they line up. It's kind of the basic same premise. Line everything up, squeeze it back in until it fully latches. And then what we do, we look from the front side as well. Make sure everything looks good. And there we go. Everything's fully latched. Chrome meshes back in as well as the bezel. So hopefully this video explained everything in detail enough for you as far as getting the chrome bezels off and the mesh from the back side. I'm going to give you a link in the show notes to the video on how to remove the bumper cover. That way you can gain access to the back side. Now, like I always mention, any kind of suggestions you got for a video, 
is always helpful because, for example, I've had two individuals ask how to get these off. Well, eventually I had a bumper cover off, so I figured let me go ahead and answer that question with a video. So always, if you got a particular question for a video or topic, let me know. Uh, it's all based off of what comes in the shop and what I've got available to film. So uh, it took a while to get to one of these. I finally did. So hopefully it gave them the information they needed, and hopefully you as well. So this time I asked for any kind of thumbs up on YouTube. Don't forget to like me on Facebook. You can follow me on Twitter, and you can check me out on Instagram as well. And if you got any comments or suggestions about this video, any other video you'd like to see, or anything Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, or Ram related, please feel free to email me at david at motorcitymechanic.com, and I'll try to get back to you in a timely manner. In the meantime, thanks for watching these videos.